You might recall a moment from my last video when I was trying to explain the session table and all the important output from the session table. What we did was to initiate an SSH connection to FortiGate 1 and we analyzed the readings on the session table. But where I got stuck and uh, the one thing that I couldn't explain was the policy ID. And so the best way to explain this is to demonstrate it again. So we're back on FortiGate 1. Let's display our session table again, filtered with only traffic going to the destination port 22. Diagnose system session, filter with destination port 22. This will only display SSH traffic into FortiGate 1. Diagnose system session list. We don't, of course, have any sessions at the moment. So I'm back to FortiGate 2 and I'm going to initiate the session, the SSH session to FortiGate 1. Exec SSH admin at 10.160.1.1. And now we're connected into the FortiGate 1. Let's verify this. Let's run that command again. Diagnose system session list. And there's our session. And yes, we managed to reproduce the scenario. There's that strange policy ID again. What I'm going to do is actually show you what we have on this firewall. Let's go to security and objects and look at the firewall policy. You'd recall from the previous lab that we only had one policy allowing all SSH and ICMP. So what I've done is I've separated traffic between devices. FortiGate 2 and FortiGate 3. I further split the traffic from FortiGate 2 to allow all ICMP on a single policy and all SSH on single policy and did the same thing for, for FortiGate 3. So now we're in FortiGate 2 and we can see that our, our connection is established. Now with this in mind, I'm connected from 10.160.1.2 which is the uh, port 1 interface on FortiGate 2. I'm connecting to 10.161.1 which is port 3 interface of FortiGate 1 and that's the policy ID. Now what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect from this session and then reinitiate the session again but this time instead of connecting to port 3 interface um, I'm going to connect to the loopback interface, loopback 1 interface of FortiGate 1 and once again we're in. So let's go back to FortiGate 1 and display our session table. And so, of course, the settings, the, the readings would be slightly different. We are still coming from the same source. And now the destination is 1.1.1.1. An interesting thing is the policy ID. Now we're seeing policy ID 2. In fact, let's have a look at that policy. Show firewall policy 2. And of course, as we expected, it's a firewall policy on 48.1 that permits... SSH. Now the difference here is that when we look at the interfaces, we go to network, interfaces, we know that traffic going to the loopback addresses is managed by a firewall policy, but traffic going to the physical interfaces, this would be this interface port 3. There's no firewall policy allowing traffic inbound, um, SSH inbound or even ICMP because this is allowed from the interface itself, the same as with port 4. And in fact, let's run through this again. I'm going to display the session table again. Diagnose system session list. Okay. I think we do need a filter. Diagnose system session filter with the destination port of 22 and then diagnose system session list. We have our inbound SSH connection. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to connect to FortiGate 1 from my machine. So from my machine, my IP address is 192.168.4.127 and FortiGate 01 is 192.168.4.115. This is just for context. Now I'm going to SSH into the FortiGate, FortiGate 1. And we're in. And now let's display our session table again. 
So now we have two sessions. We have a session from 40K2, 10.161.2, and now we have another session, a new session from my machine. So this IP address here is my laptop connecting to the management interface, um, dedicated to management interface on 40K1. And look at that policy ID, there it comes up again. So the moral of the story here is that it looks like all traffic that is explicitly permitted by firewall policy would display a normal um, expected policy ID. But for traffic that is permitted by system settings like, um, you know, these tick boxes on interfaces to allow ping, SSH or whatever, that, is, that, is, that does not go into an explicit firewall policy. It is a system config stored somewhere and it has this weird strange policy ID. And I think this is where the strange policy ID came from. It was bothering me. I needed to find a way to explain it. And now I do. And I'm glad I got to share this with you. And so, yes, I'm satisfied with this explanation. If anybody has any reference to the document library, to anything, uh, any literature that explains this even further, I'd really appreciate a comment in the description. Until then, I'll catch you in the next video. And thank you for supporting the channel.